In today's video, I'm going to discuss, can you submit a conference paper to a journal? So the answer to this question is somewhat complicated. In most cases, the answer is yes, but in some cases, the answer is no. And in some cases, the answer is maybe. So let's look at all these situations. Now, of course, when you are thinking of publishing a paper in a conference, your primary objective is to make sure that a large number of people know of this paper and you want to present it in front of real life people and get their feedback in terms of questions and body language. And then you may want to take this particular feedback and improve your paper further and then you may think of submitting it to a journal in some cases. Now there may be some cases where you are satisfied with a terminal conference paper. That means you have submitted a paper to a conference it has got published in the conference proceedings and then you are very happy to have this paper permanently reside in the conference proceedings and you do not feel any need to submit it further to a journal. So I'll not discuss the second case which is not a problem. I'll discuss the first case when somebody has done a nice piece of work and they have presented it in a conference and also published a paper in the conference proceeding but they feel that for their own success in terms of scholarly metrics, they would like to publish this paper in a journal. Now let us see some of the issues involved. Now the major issue is that of copyright. So whenever you submit a paper to a conference and you publish it, you may give the copyright of this particular publication to this professional body or society as the case may be. Now you have to be very careful when you are signing these particular copyright forms to make sure that you are not assigning copyright to the particular professional body and that you try to keep the copyright. Now in some cases this may not be possible at all. The particular body may actually take the copyright from you as a requirement for publishing in the particular conference. So this is something you need to keep in mind. Now in some cases the conferences have a requirement that they have a first publication right in their journal for the paper in their conference. So for example, if you have submitted a paper in a particular professional society conference, then they would like to publish this paper in their own journal. Now this is all good and fine if your paper gets into this journal without any problem. But there may be a case where this, this paper is published in the conference proceedings but the reviewers reject the paper for the journal. So in this case, you are stuck with the paper which you now want to submit somewhere else, but the future journals may actually not like the fact that this paper has been published in the conference proceedings. And in many cases, when a paper is published in the conference proceedings, it is there on the web and then various search engines as well as plagiarism softwares will detect this paper. So again, that is a something which you need to keep in mind that this paper has now been published and you have to be very careful about the copyright issues to see that you really have a right to publish it further or not. So this is something which you need to check with the journal, to check with the conference and so on. So I typically like to get permission of the conference and the journal both in case you are presenting this kind of paper. Now, the reason why journals don't like to publish conference papers is that there is a copyright issue involved. The journal wants to keep copyright of this paper with itself. The journal also wants to make sure its readers are getting brand new work and not work which has been recycled from somewhere else. So this is why journals would like to publish papers which have not been published in conferences. Now, one of the things you can do is you can make the conference paper substantially different from the one you are submitting to a journal. So if your conference paper is a very short work of a few pages and it only has a few concepts and then later you have expanded it very substantially, then you may be possible or it may be possible then to submit this to a journal. But you need to be careful about the level of new material which you have put in which should be substantial. Now whatever the case may be one of the things to make sure that you are on the right track is to mention in your journal paper that this is a revised version of a paper which has been presented in a conference and you should mention this particular conference paper in the reference section as a previous paper published by you. 
you can also write this in the cover letter which you submit to the journal that uh, this is a revised version of a paper which was published in XYZ conference. So this will make sure that they know exactly what you are doing and you are not held liable for this kind of issue later on because you are presenting your case here and if the journal doesn't feel that it is worthwhile for them to consider this paper they can reject it right at this stage and you have saved both the journal and yourself a lot of work and uh, bad problems which may take place. Now generally the main concept here is to use a conference paper to submit some new concept or to present a new concept to people and to ensure that your particular new concept is not lost in the enormous review time which is required in a typical journal. So a journal may take one to two years to review a paper in some cases and you don't want to wait for such a long time for your concept uh, or your new paradigm which you have created to be out there in the domain with referees. You may want to just publish this in a conference and then you have taken the first right or the first copyright as far as this particular work is concerned. So one of the tactics to use here is to write a very sketchy and skeleton type conference paper in which you communicate the basic problem in the field and later spend a lot of time expanding this particular concept for a journal publication. Now whatever I am saying here is extremely field dependent. There are fields such as computer science where many people just publish terminal conference papers and they do not necessarily feel a need to convert these to journal papers later. However, in many technical fields and technology driven fields, people try to publish conference papers and then publish it as journal papers, typically in the same professional society or in a different professional society by seeking permission that they have published this as a conference paper somewhere before. So again, you need to do that or it will turn out in some software such as Turnitin that you have plagiarized this whole, con whole content. So again, if you have referred this in your journal paper that this is a revised version of a paper published in a conference, you won't have this problem because you can come back to the journal and say, see, I've mentioned it here that this paper was published in a conference before. Now, all these things I'm saying are field dependent. So of course, in the sciences, there is a general tendency to, to go directly for journal papers. In computer science, there's a tendency to go directly for conference paper because this field is very fast moving. And in the technology fields, there is a kind of predilection towards both these situations. So it may be totally situational based on your field. So again, these are some ideas I had for you today about whether you can submit a conference paper to a journal and how to exactly go about using a conference paper as the bedrock on which you build much more and then you submit the paper to a journal. And also to keep in mind that if you are somebody who wants to publish journal papers, it may actually be not a good concept to reveal all your insights and discoveries in the conference paper because then this may become a terminal conference paper and then you may not be able to get credit of this work in a journal publication. So this is something which neophyte scholars should keep in mind before they submit a paper to a conference, especially a conference which is not very well renowned or not well known such as a local or regional conference and then your paper has been published there, it is out there on the web somewhere and you have missed out a chance to submit this to a top journal and then gain much more credit for this particular top journal publication. So again, this was some caveat about conference publication to keep in mind. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my channel for more videos on such topics. Thank you very much.